Brother Simon's 153rd article. And Adam on and Adam all die and Christ all live. Today's article is a collaborate a collaboration between my friend and brother in Christ, Caleb the Encourager Klein, and yours truly. You see, last week Caleb texted me and said he'd like us to write an article together. One doesn't refuse the encourager, so, so I gladly said yes. Before I knew it, Caleb had sent me an article he had written along with the title, so I texted him back that I'd edit, edit it in my own distinctive fashion and then publish it. Well, the fruits of our labor. In case you weren't sure in case you weren't sure I'm looking at you Mr. and Mrs. Born Again God's got this this salvation after all it's all his operation all will be saved from death death will be abolished and finally God will become all in all the entirety of him and the entirety of his creation as we read from the pen of Paul the apostle of the nations for since in fact through a man came death, through a man also comes the resurrection of the dead. For even as in Adam all are dying, thus also in Christ shall all be vilified. Yet each in his own class, the first fruit, Christ, thereupon those who are Christ's in his presence, thereafter the consummation. Whenever he may be giving up the kingdom to his God and Father, whenever he should be nullifying all sovereignty and all authority and power, for he must be reigning until he should be placing all enemies under his feet, the last enemy is being abolished death for he subjects all under his feet and whenever he may be saying that all is subject it is evident that it is outside of him who subjects all to him now whenever all may be subjected to him then the son himself also shall be subjected to him who subjects all to him that god may be all in all first corinthians fifteen twenty one through 28 scripture doesn't get much plainer than the above passage and nothing We'll stop this from happening. Our God and Father is all-powerful and operates all in accord with the counsel of his will. Ephesians 1.11 Recall For this is ideal and welcome in the sight of our Savior God, who wills that all mankind be saved and come into a realization of the truth. 1 Timothy 2, 3-4 God will, It's God's will God's will is always done. In other words, what God wills, God gets god keeps all of his promises and fulfills his every word understand god has always been on plan a and everything will turn out for the ultimate benefit of all of his creation every member of god's creation will receive a happy ending at the consummation of the eons or ages after all paul tells us he is the happy god first timothy 1 11 full of love and grace and patience and kindness and peace all that he does is good and holy and righteous. Our God and Father saved all through the sacrifice of his Son, Jesus Christ. Every celestial, terrestrial, and subterranean member of his creation was saved over 2,000 years ago by Jesus Christ. No one misses out. All will have life in Christ Jesus, and all will, and all will give glory to our, to our God and Father. He will be exalted by all he has created, as Paul tells us. That in the name of Jesus, every knee should be bowing, celestial, terrestrial, and subterranean, and every tongue should be acclaiming that Jesus Christ is Lord for the glory of God the Father. Philippians 2, 10 through 11. Every knee, not some, not almost all, every. I know, I know, this ain't what your ministers and preachers are teaching you, Mr. and Mrs. Born Again. How many times do I have to tell you to stop listening to and heeding their lies? Recall what Paul explicitly states Faithful is the saying and worthy of all welcome. For for this are we being are we toiling and being reproached that we rely on the living God who is the Savior of all mankind, especially of believers. These things be charging and teaching. First Timothy four nine through eleven. All mankind, especially not exclusively of believers. One of the benefits of belief is that believers get a special salvation. Go back to the first passage of Scripture quoted in this article, or read this. Except. Excerpt. For even as in Adam all are dying, thus also in Christ shall all be vilified, yet each in his own class, the first fruit Christ, thereupon those who are Christ, in his presence thereafter the consummation. First Corinthians fifteen, twenty two through twenty four. Each in his own class. Dig the order of mankind's eventual vilification eventual vilification. Being made alive beyond the reach of death, 
Christ the first fruit, those who are Christ in his presence, believers, and at a later date, faithful, is, faithful Israel, the rest of humanity at the consummation or end of the eons or ages. For those interested, Paul tell, for those interested, Paul spells out what one must believe to become a believer. Now I'm making known to you, brethren, the evangel which I bring to you, which also you accepted, and which also you stand, through which also you are saved. If you are retaining what I said and bringing the evangel to you outside, bringing the evangel to you outside and accept you believe faintedly, for I give over to you among the first what I also accepted that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he had, and that he was entombed and that he has been roused the third day according to the scriptures. First Corinthians fifteen one through four. Christ died for our sins. He was entombed and he was roused the third day. The end result of Paul's evangel or good news is that all are saved from death through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, who died for all sins. Sin is covered and paid for in full by Jesus Christ's death on the cross. He paid everyone's ransom in full through his suffering and death. In his perfect obedience to his God and Father, Jesus never sinned and he fulfilled the law for all of us. Dig. For if by the offense of the one death for if by the offense of the one death reigns through the one, much rather than obtaining much rather those obtaining the superabundance of grace and the gratuity of righteousness shall be reigning in life through the one Jesus Christ. Consequently then, as it were through one offense for all mankind for condom for condemnation, thus also it is through one just reward for all mankind for life's justifying. For even as through the disobedience of the one man, the many were constituted sinners, thus also through the obedience of the one, the many shall be constituted just. Romans five seventeen through 19 Through the obedience of the one, the many shall be constituted just. The many, the same many who were constituted sinners. And guess what? For all sinned and are wanting of the glory of God. Romans three twenty three. Yep, all sin, that's the many. Everyone. Jesus Christ has taken care of sin once and for all by dying on the cross for all. That's why all excluding believers will be judged by their acts and not their sins at the great white throne judgment. Revelation twenty eleven. All will eventually be justified by his faith, the faith of Christ, his death and resurrection, and all will be made a new creation. Second Corinthians five seventeen. Free from corruption, we will be conformed to the perfect image of Christ, who is the perfect image of our God and Father. This is the future all have to look forward to. Yeah, the true God is that good. Love, grace, and peace to all our listening. God bless all of you. And have a wonderful day and a wonderful night.